Okay, and now we go through our whole body and warm up every single joint. First, we start with the right foot. You rotate your foot and you try to engage every single toe. And then you change the direction. Go as slow as you need, as big as possible. And then something like a snake movement. First, you take away your balls, then your toes, and then you take them back. Balls, toes, balls, toes. So it looks like a snake and it should feel very good, like a massage. Shake it out. And now you can compare your feet and I hope the right one and all the leg and everything feels better. Then we want to have the same effect on the left. And we rotate with everything we have and then we change the direction. And then again, snake. Balls, toes, balls, toes, balls, toes. Mm -hmm. Shake it out. Then we go to the knee joint. You go front and back as far as possible. And then we have a rotation in the hip joint and in the knee joint. So you can take your hands on both joints to feel what's happening. Okay, change, hope you have changed. And then front back again, down. Do you feel the effect? I hope. Okay, then the same on the left. The knee goes, the leg goes front and back as far as possible. And then we have this rotation. And we change. And then we go front and back again and compare both legs and feel how you feel. I hope this had a great effect on the rest of your body. Then we do exactly the same with the hands. This movement, we take every single finger and then we change. Every single finger is moving. Then something funny, hands to the side, and then you rotate as fast as possible and change. Okay, and then we go through our shoulders. Start carefully. Imagine how your shoulder blades are gliding along the ribs. And then a little bit faster. Don't force yourself, don't make a sway back. And then we change the direction. You don't need to rotate the arms, but you can if you feel it's more comfortable. And then we speed it up. Okay, very nice. This was this, this was this, and we haven't done the hip yet. We go from left to right, from left to right. You imagine your hip joints. Where are your hip joints? I hope you know it. And then you go left, front, and then you go as far as possible to the back. The upper body will come down too, but don't think about the upper body. Think of your hip rotating around yourself and think of your hip joints really engaging and the last one then you stop here go to the right and the other way around really enjoy the beautiful <laughs> movement it maybe doesn't look good but it should really feel good and loosen up your hip. Okay, perfect. Then you take your right arm and take it to the left. No, <laughs> and to the other side. So you really stretch long. Then we go up and roll down. And then you roll up again. 
Okay, and now we roll down again. And from here, we come up with a flat back. Then you roll down again. And up. Roll. And up. Okay, and now the opposite way. Flat back down and roll up. Flat back down and roll up. Okay, perfect. Now we concentrate on the very, very first vertebrae where the head is on. And you nod your head a little bit. And then the chin reaches down towards your belly button. And then up towards the ceiling. And down. And up. Great. And now you take your right ear <laughs> towards the right shoulder and up and left and up and right and up and left and up. And now you go with your head as far as possible to the right and you can try with your eyes to reach the back of the room. And then you come front again and left exactly the same and front and right and front and left and front again. Now we do a, sing, a small rotation of the head exactly here on the very, very top of our spine, mini rotation. And then you can make it bigger. And you can also engage your shoulders, your whole rib cage. Then you come back and we do exactly the same, starting from the very, very top and working down the spine. So engage more and more parts of your spine. Okay, shake it out, ready. <laughs>